I'm from the Midwest Sangha. I've been with Swamiji for about four and a half years. Um, I am a, a, a healer. Um, I work with lots and lots of different people. I offer a lot of beautiful solutions for health and wealth abundance. And it is all because of Swamiji. I've been blessed so abundantly by Swamiji that even words cannot describe. That's wonderful. And can you share, I'm sorry, I missed what you had said. Can you share a little bit about your backgrounds and what you do? Sure. Um, so I work with lots of different people. I work with plant medicine. Um, I consult with people about different ways of improving their health and wealth abundance and how to improve their life uh, by taking a spiritual approach. Um, I call myself a spiritual entrepreneur because I really enjoy <laughs> dabbling in many different things as long as it's to benefit humanity. This is my mission, my goal, and it is all because of Swamiji, every single bit of it, every step. Beautiful. Yes. Ma. So, how did you get connected to Swamiji, Ma? Wow, that's like a love story. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a beautiful love story. Um, Swamiji <laughs> just enriched my life so beautifully. Um, I I was I saw him on a YouTube video in November of two thousand um, and sixteen, and from there it was just incredible. Just. I just had to meet him. I just had to be in Vividi and I made it happen the following year. And um, I was able to spend a, you know, a 21 day inner awakening with him and two other beautiful, incredibly beautiful people. And so many of them, I still have the beautiful connections with and we speak often, very often. Um, just a, such a beautiful, beautiful space. He uprooted me, uplifted me out of my life. Um, a very, uh, I really strongly believe it was a very low vibrational space um, and just knew that I needed to be in another space altogether. Wow. So uprooted and shifted me out, <laughs> shook my life around. Um, and in one year, the whole life exploded and wow. just blessings after blessings after blessings and so many beautiful, powerful cognitions landing um, and guiding me to the next step. So each step, wow. each layer was discovered um, right before him. Uh, every time I talk about him, forgive me. I'm like a big baby. All I want to do is cry and tell him oh, how much I love him. That's <laughs> beautiful, Ma. That's, it's his love showering on you that is making you experience your love for him. Yes. Yes, Ma. <laughs> yes. So can you share a little bit about your experiences um, either with Swamiji or like you've said in the past four years, you've had such a huge, huge breakthroughs in your life. And then of course, with Devi Parashakti herself. So um, with Deva, uh, with Devi Parashakti, you know, I, I didn't have a direct or, you know, a, a comment or a question answer. However, just like Ma Corina says, it's the same thing. You know, every time someone is blessed, someone's wishes or, or boons are fulfilled and we receive a tatastu, it's literally like a tatastu on my heart, on my soul, on my ever being. So I'm constantly, constantly being showered. I, I really don't even have words. It's constant. It's direct communication. You know, Swamiji says, keep your, keep his murti in your room. His murti is in my room. <laughs> and I am legitimately always talking to him, always expressing my deepest gratitude and all of my frustrations, my angers, my injustices that are happening in the world. And um, every day is like the next day or the next two days, something incredibly beautiful happens in my life that I can share. And when I share, it gives Gives great great joy to people around me um, I feel like the beautiful healing energy that he's that he initiated me with Vinetra it's like so incredibly powerful um, mm -hmm. and every day and every moment I get a chance to share um, even the you know the experiences that we're having now like all, all of the truths that are being revealed in the world and you know Parashakti is sharing it's Absolutely. so incredible because you don't hear this on, you know, media. You don't hear this in the world. You're not. Yeah. And if you do hear it, it's maybe in a, you know, a very small mindset, a mindset of people that are talking about this. Yes. But here yeah. we have a huge, massive community that is, you know, effortlessly talking about it and being open and 
changing their life. You know, daily we are changing the way that we expand our life by doing mucus detox, by doing our panta, uh, pancha kriyas, doing our meditations, doing our listening to satsang, talking to each other, talking, having vakya sadas between each other. You know, it's um, yes. it's just extremely powerful. So the things that Swamiji has um, enriched me with is the ability to uh, speak uh, on um in the name of love and the name of his mission. And he also has empowered my heart to become full, incredibly full, so I can share um, my love for people and humanity. Um, he's given me a mindset, a business mindset, something uh-huh. I didn't even think I was ever going to do or had it in me to even think about doing because I was just so stunted in growth. Um, although knew that, you know, I wanted to achieve all of these things. I just never thought that I had the will or the persistence or the super determinism to make this happen. You know, he gave me these words, these powerful cognitions that I can articulate and actually do, you know, that's exactly. the beauty. Yeah. That's, that's really awesome. You are, so awesome. You are eloquently articulating his his teachings and his blessings in your life. And yes. clearly you're radiating everything he's been teaching so that's really beautiful, Ma. So can you share your experience during this pandemic, how your life has been so different maybe from your friends or family who don't necessarily have Swamiji in their life right now and how your your breakthroughs are, you know, despite during the being like a global crisis, you're still experiencing so many breakthroughs. Sure. Um, you know, I had the a beautiful opportunity to work um, with a, a lot of different kinds of people, people of all different kinds of sicknesses and um, and livelihoods. So I've had the um, opportunity to see what COVID has done to so many people. Uh, you know, it's destroying lives. It's creating a fear-based society. It's showing scarcity. It's but uh, amongst all of that negative stuff there's still this incredible, powerful space that says, we don't have to live like this anymore. You know, Swamiji has showed us that, you know, he has prepared us so many years in advance um, with the mindset, with uh, the the cognitions to um, surpass this negative uh, vibration that's coming in super hard. So, you know, uh, just definitely being able to share these beautiful cognitions with people, um, telling them, you know, not to be afraid, but to clean your body, to eat healthy, to not eat meat, you know, to do all of the things that he's asked us to do, make sure we have clean drinking water, um, preparing ourselves for the future, uh, and but living in the now. And that means being healthy and, and being cognitively aware and having super conscious breakthroughs and all of these things. So I have had this opportunity to share those um, powerful cognitions with others. And so when I do feel like, and I have been in the root of um, the COVID experience, uh, Mm -hmm. nobody has uh, been affected within my circle or within my community that I know of, except patients that are outside of my own life, but, to see what they might have been going through, to see what their lives were like before COVID really gave them a perspective, like spending more time with your children, not having the grind of work every single day, realizing that, you know, we don't have to live like this. There is no structure that says that we have to live in this poverty space. Uh, We can absolutely come beyond that, rise above that um, and live and, and become spiritual and, Spiritual doesn't mean necessarily, you know, um, to, you know, meditate and all this is to be cognitively aware. And and that's in itself a meditation. So just understanding, you know, these beautiful things that Swamiji and Bara Shakti and all, every, all of these beautiful deities that come to us to give us darshan, you know, these are reflections of us so we can take on the role, the face, the phase of them. I just <laughs> love, love Swamiji so much. Um, <laughs> and I love my That's Sangha crazy. so much. And I love Hinduism so much. I just feel like everybody, every single person on planet Earth should be experiencing this breakthrough in all facets of life. That's beautiful. And what would you like to share with, you know, a, someone who's 
out there maybe just happen to be catching a glimpse of this sharing and hearing maybe about Swamiji for the first time, what would you share with them about having Swamiji in your life, in, especially during this global pandemic, where people are living in so much of fear, how you've experienced, you know, a state beyond all of this and just having continuous breakthroughs? So what I would say to someone just looking in, um, you know, I, it's so important to know that you are loved. You are loved beyond your even wildest imagination. You are so loved by cosmos. You are so loved by the divine mother. I, I, I'm not really, you know, going into a personal aspect of, you know, just having a relationship with my own mother, you know, don't really have a relationship with my own mother. So there's many things that I think in my life that attributed to some of my incompletions, but for real, like for real, for real, to be like just in her presence and watching her face is literally like your mom's hand on your head or, you know, dubbing you on your lap or <laughs> it's like, you know, giving you so much love, like just for my own children too, you know, always letting them know in her, in, in the gentle, beautiful, graceful demeanor, Swamiji speaks to us and Viva Parashakti speaks to us. I do and replicate the same thing in my own life. My children are a direct reflection of who I am. And so that in itself, I'm sharing everything that he's sharing with me. I'm sharing with my children, whether or not they're completely, you know, involved in it um, is <laughs> neither here nor there. But for me, it's here. So I'm totally in. I'm invested 100%. And eventually, it'll get to the space that the people around me and then the new people that are coming in and people who are watching now just know that. You are intensely loved. You are immensely loved. You are, your heart is in the palm. I, I just learned this really cre uh, cool cliche. It's in the lap of luxury. I feel <laughs> like Swamiji, I'm living in the womb. I'm in his the lap of luxury. I really think that Absolutely. that is what that cliche means. But <laughs> it's so beautiful. Just know that you're loved. You know, you may not have a relationship with your family. You may not have a good job. You may not have the best health you may not have but if you just believe that you are loved all of those things will change absolutely and can you share a little bit about you know seeing this you know how swamiji's been showering love on every single being not just devotees or disciples but anyone it's the you know Devi has been blessing any being who's asking or wanting to receive the blessings and just opening herself up day in, day out, tirelessly attending to people, opening, Swami just opened up his own homes, accepting yes. everybody, giving them not just spiritual guidance and protection, but literally physical protection. How does this make you feel when you see his immense compassion? Um, it absolutely blows me away. And I, I posted it on, on Instagram all the time. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a social media junkie right now. And I'm all about sharing all of this knowledge. And when I saw and heard that Swamiji had opened up his Adhinams to people, anybody for, you know, triple quarantine, that's huge. That's not like little, that's massive. That's like what billionaires and millionaires should be doing right now. That's what our government should be doing right now. This is what people who have lots and lots of money, because people who don't have lots of money are still doing things like that too. We're still giving to people, you know, but Swamiji, he's prepared this. He's He's been talking about this for like three years, I think. Um, yeah how to change, how to activate, be a part of the Sangha, be a part of your, your community, you know, uh, give, 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 share, 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 um, enrich humanity so that when this happened, he would be prepared for it. And even though he's not even in India, that's what blows me away, <laughs> right? Yes. He's doing all of this amazing, amazing saving he's saving us he's saving our lives and Absolutely. um to be able to protect the people of india that really blows me away you know we, they were stolen everything was stolen from them when COVID hit lively livelihood was stopped their jobs were stopped they couldn't get any medical care they there's you know political issues there's all sorts of things but his womb is open yes exactly it's so, the only place where humanity will be able to be guaranteed protection and yes. living in his breathing space and literally raising 
during this time of crisis rather than sinking into suffering like the rest of the world. Yes. Imagine the kind of people are going to come out. Exactly. Right? This now this is the the starting of a real his real ecosystem the real I'm, I'm gonna cry right now just think about it like that's just so incredible how how are you so incredible like you're the most incredible the most compassionate you're opening up your home your womb your life your your being for us exactly Who do that except God <laughs> exactly my it's, there's no words to really describe Swamiji's compassion and he's literally here to save humanity and if the sooner we realize that the sooner that we will raise ourselves and the sooner that we will be able to receive his blessings yes ma and i believe like all of us the ones that are outside in the world um we are radiating him also very very much absolutely so, you know we are part of the womb and so we want to nourish and we will nourish each and every person that comes into our contact absolutely absolutely, absolutely. Exactly. And can you share a little bit more about, you know, a specific experience that you might have had either in the past few months during this whole pandemic, or even since you've met Swamiji in the past four or five years, how, you know, maybe a specific breakthrough or blessing or boon that Swamiji has given you? Oh, there are so many, uh, so, <laughs> so, so many, but the biggest ones are, um, you know, going from uh, an idea uh, to an invention, mm -hmm. from an invention to a materializing, from materializing to absolutely living out it. So this gradual wow. experience, and, and it, the greatest part, it never took time. It took ambiance. And I, I tell people all, this all the time, like things can happen when all of the elements are put together and everything is in the right space. It will, it will just happen. So that's the cognition that he gave me. And these are the, these are continuous things that have happened. Um, a new job, um, a new idea that raised out of that. Then uh, now I resigned from my company that I used to work with for, you know, literally four years. The, the moment that he came into my life, I was introduced to a new company. I had a new breakthrough. Uh -huh. um, I was able to do so many of the things that I've always dreamed about doing. Not even just, uh, honestly, I didn't even dream about some of these things. These were things that he just implanted in me. Like, you can do this. Yeah, you can do this. Yeah, you can do this. 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 And it was just constant and deeper and deeper and deeper I've gone. Um, and it may at some moments felt scary, but now it doesn't feel that way. Now I feel like, Oh, I, I know when it's about to happen. <laughs> you know? So like my energy level is super high. I, you know, I, I don't sleep for a little while. I like definitely, you know, my eating habits change. I can, I know when this alchemy process is happening. And all of a sudden it's this beautiful breakthrough. So I just resigned from a, a, a beautiful company that I worked for um, and, and created a beautiful um, ambiance based on Swamiji completely. And then uh -huh went into another opportunity, um, just recently opened up my own business. Um, I'm sharing um, living water with the world that that in itself is blowing, blowing me away because I was introduced to this water through my Sangha. Just, uh -huh. it's too much. That's it really good. is too much, like too much, too many blessings one after the other. And <laughs> that's what life at Swamiji is like though. Yes. Yes. It's true. It's true. Like no <laughs> concept of time. Because for, for most people, like what I've been through would take like 10 years. But uh -huh. for me, it was like four. Out the Absolutely. door. Four years. <laughs> and that's actually a really good point you've made, Matt. It's like people think that manifesting what they want in their life takes time. People feel that, oh, it, it may be in a few years and they keep delaying. But with Swamiji in their life, with Swamiji continuously guiding and blessing and and giving all the boons, there's, it doesn't take any time. It will just manifest. It's just your decision to let him manifest through you. That's absolutely correct, Ma. You said it perfectly. <laughs> and so you're, you, during this pandemic, were able to complete a job that Swamiji had given you and start your own business yes. at a time where most people are losing their jobs, losing their businesses. You are expanding during yes. the pandemic. Yes, expanding um, and expanding so much, including um, it, including different aspects of expansion. So expanding, um, you know, uh, health wise, I've never been the healthiest in my life. Um, you know, uh, wow. 
and being able to utilize and create products that have the recommendations of what Swamiji uses, like ashwagandha, tripola, haritaki. These are life That's things beautiful. that I've used in my life. So these are things that I can uh -huh. you know, provide for other people. Um, also, just uh, just creating, just this whole environment has been it's just so enriching, Ma. It's just That's beautiful. beautiful. Like, yeah, it's yeah. beautiful that you're able to create this sattvic ambiance for yourself, living, you know, yeah. not just in your spirituality, but even in your job, you're able to live this lifestyle yes. and share it with the world. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I know that uh, people think maybe I'm a little, like, a little crazy sometimes, but, um, <laughs> you know, crazy is good. Crazy is wild. Crazy is adventurous, creative, inspiring, enriching, all of these beautiful things. Qualities. So I embody that because what I see when I see my Swamiji is all of those things. Um, the ability to speak, the ability to share, the ability to share knowledge, um, and just to just to be, you know, the leader that he is. If, if you didn't know him, you would still think he was an, um, uh, an amazing leader. Absolutely. He, right? Because his, his whole demeanor shares that. It, it, it radiates that. So I want Absolutely. to be in his vision always. Absolutely. It's like even his enemies can't deny the yeah. type of leader he is and what kind of inspiration he, he puts in people. It's true. It's so true. <laughs> and what you were saying, you've had a, like, a lot of breakthroughs in your health. Can you share a little bit more about that? Sure, sure. Um, so, you know, four years ago, um, I, I, I became a vegetarian. Um, I was born into a meat family. Um, I, I Definitely went vegetarian for a long time and then came back and lived in that low cognition, low vibrational space. Felt like, you know, things were going wrong. Things, you know, my, my gaining weight, skin didn't look good. You know, my hair wasn't growing. Um, I ended up shaving my head because uh, I wanted to donate it, but I, I couldn't donate it because it was unhealthy at one time. And so, uh, so many things like um, I had surgery on my knees because I had meniscus and ACL surgery. Um, I had some, you know, edema in my light right ankle. I've had some back issues. I have t twins that are going to be 18 in, um, in December. So, uh, you know, I, I had a, a tailbone that was broken from childbirth, like all of these things. But what he did for me in terms of my health is he gave me the right knowledge base to correct those mistakes. Uh -huh. So, and to correct my body. So giving me yoga, giving me haritaki that I will do every single day, even though I'm not really crazy about the taste, but I love it so much because I know the power of haritaki, right? Um, you know, my panchakriya, my enemas, all of these things are like so profound. Um, yes. and these are the health benefits that he's given me. He's given me the ability to correct all of these things in such a short period of time. Like, you know, illness is not lifelong, but it is very curable that's things that you can change. Yes. I'm sorry, Ma. I will go. Keep going. No, 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 that's okay. That's really beautiful, Ma, that, you know, in every aspect of your life that he's given you blessings and boons and you've been able to just have so many breakthroughs. Thank you so much, Ma, for sharing and we so really much. appreciate you coming and joining us and like, sharing your experiences and blessings and boons with everybody. Thank you very much, Ma. It's such a pleasure. I'm such uh, so honored and I love Swamiji so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ma.